Good evening, everyone. How do? How are we all tonight? Oh. Uh, well, that's can you um, fan in background because I've got the fan right next to me. Just in time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gordon Bennett, guess what? What? 29 minute ad. What? 29 minute ad. <laughs> mm. Hiya, I'm Jan. How are you? Um, hiya, Adrian. Well, very good, I'm good. We're doing things slightly different tonight, obviously, because I'm using Chris's laptop. And I'm sat on opposite side. Normally, I'm sat that side with the... With the uh, mirror behind me but i'm sat this side tonight um uh, so yeah uh i'm still watching it but the thing is i've got like a 30 minute ad on mine so uh so yeah um i'm gonna wait till a few comes in hopefully by the time a few comes in um uh, let me see what this is. Min, my, summit global. Uh, I am Jack. So are you? Oh, Jackie. I am a lady. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Jackie. I watched your video this afternoon, and then clips clips look very handy for your drone. There you go. There you go. So yes, yeah, so we're doing things slightly different. I have put a link in the description if anybody wants to donate to me via PayPal because a certain person knocked a glass of water all over my laptop. So, so I'm having to use Chris's laptop. This is why like changes surroundings. Plus, we've put the old sofa over there and it was a bit too low for me to sit on. So uh, just put cheers, Chris. Oh, Adrian's been to been to beach. Mm, book it bed. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so uh, sort of doing things a bit differently, <laughs> if that makes sense. So um, I know what Jack is thinking. She's probably thinking, "What's Cornish fairings?" Well, basically, they're a biscuit. Uh, there you go. See, as that, I said that even before she she put that. <laughs> she says, "What you're cooking tonight?" As the title suggests, Jackie, it, they're called Cornish fairings, but they are a biscuit. Oh, uh, so yes, so they're quite a simple biscuit. Nothing fancy nothing you know just ordinary uh ingredients a few spice well a few baking spices obviously so cornish fairies <laughs> no fair rings <laughs> well, fairies on bread, that one. yeah no they're not fairies the fair rings now obviously they must originate from cornwall so Obviously, that's probably why they're called Cornish fairings. Now, I come to a decision this afternoon. Um, I'm going to be doing something totally different next week. Mr. P knows because I've told him what I'm going to be doing. I, <laughs> I am going to be making truffles next week. Oh, yeah. So they're not baking. It's like <laughs> confectionery. So I've got the recipe. I came across it when I was scrolling through my recipes. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be making truffles. It's something that I've not, I've never even made before. But I thought, well, it's something I'm either doing muffins, I'm either doing frozen desserts, or I'm doing cookies. So I thought it was something a bit different. You know basically to tickle your fancy so uh, 
um so yeah so that's uh basically um so i'm just gonna try and find them see if i can find them for you yeah yeah oh there's another one as well oh well i'm out hiya mike how are you what are you making tonight i am making cornish fairings uh my lady's been in ages so yes so um i don't think i've i've downloaded it no but I, I did see it it's on one of the baking sites so um this is a this is a, a, a this is one that nobody will get um and this is one that i came across and it's very very unusual so we've still only got the fire it's called score squares spelt s-k-o-r and you'll never guess what it's made with it's made with ritz crackers so there you go that's basically it's um the basis of the of of the of the recipe is ritz crackers so basically it's like ritz crackers condensed milk and um like a chocolate a chocolate covered all that and then it's like oh, i think i am mike how are you it's like a um toffee sprinkly toffee bits so um that that could be one for <coughs> for the next couple of weeks well in the next couple of weeks should i say so uh so yes yeah, so uh, basically um that uh, uh, you know after i've made the truffles i'm gonna i'm gonna give that uh score this spell s-k-o-r score squares score squares Boom. so uh right so we'll we'll just give it i mean we're on 10 past nine now so um we'll just give, give it a couple of more minutes and then i'll make a start so obviously oh some moth flown in on your lamp uh i've i've already greased the the pans um i have um uh, obviously got the old uh camera uh on chris has already put the oven on and basically we're all ready to go so um uh i'll just give it give it a couple of more minutes see if anybody else comes in if you wouldn't mind sharing the live stream out if you want you know say you know to your friends come in and watch Jeanette. uh Lavy, lavy, lavy. I'm going to have six now. Mm. No, you didn't have to guess the gas number. <laughs> <laughs> what with the new cooker? I love truffles rolled in fleet. Now, I were undecided, but it, it does say like either you can either roll them in coconut or you can rate roll them in like chocolate sprinkles i never thought about flake i might i might actually do that i might roll them in flake hi kate how are you oh kate she's first and last in uh, <laughs> i still got days by mark jacob what oh yeah so yeah so i mean next week i mean i've made a decision kate that i will be 
I'm going to ch switch it up a little bit. I'm going to be making truffles. So that's a good idea by my lady. Um, rolling them in flake mm -hmm. instead of them chocolate sprinkles. And a word of advice, don't watch American Pie 3. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna make truffles. So, right, I, I, I'm gonna make a start. I'm gonna switch it over to stream yards because and I've got to lean over and point the camera on Gordon Bennett. Sorry about this. So, uh, so yes, as you can see. I've got the hob all set up, so I'm just going to turn it on so it warms up a little bit. So uh, into this pan, we need 100 grams of butter. I think it's already melted in. It's that been that warm, and that's 100 grams of butter. 100 grams of uh, golden caster sugar. Is that done now? What's it lost? No, nothing. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It is boiling. I've got fun. If, if, if you can hear a funny noise, it's because I've got fan on right outside of me. Uh, <laughs> really? Kate's book, don't forget guys and dolls to donate to the next channel link in the description to help get a laptop, yes. <laughs> uh Adrian's got his snacks ready while he's watching. Oh. Um so yeah, and into this you need that is two tablespoons of golden syrup. You see, Adrian, these are all right for beginner bakers because there's only a few ingredients, but you've got to have all the ingredients, obviously. So, oh. why is that not working? It's not working. Oops. I didn't ask you to try it. <laughs> I did try it. You seen me. No. I've blown it already. <laughs> Uh oh. All right, let me just do something. See if it. I, I probably broke blunt fuse. Uh, no, it's not working. Can't well, I can't answer you, man, because I'm watching you out on the phone. So, just just a quick thing, baby. Will you melt it me in the oven? I'll melt in the oven. I, I mean, it microwave. Well, this is good because I put a new plug on this this afternoon, so it's my my fault. Yeah, I don't know with me this time. Yeah, I <laughs> I put the plug on. Obviously, it's blow, blown the fuse or something. I'll just put it in 20, 20 seconds and then. Stir yeah, it just get a quick stir and, stir and stir yeah. Sorry about oh. that one, guys and girls. There's ways around. Yes. So basically, what Chris is going to do is going to. Zap it in microwave. It could be this uh, magic. I don't think it. I don't think it is. But hey ho. You know what? It it it, it does feel warm. So I reckon it's blunt fuse. Say. I reckon it's blown the fuse because it does feel warm. Uh... Like only just warm though. But hey ho. Just pass me that well. So right, I thought you were coming in. So while Chris uh, just um, gives that a quick whiz in the microwave, we've still got 15 minutes left on this advert. <laughs> Be honest, Kate. Are you awake? How are you? So... Uh, <laughs> what 
Well, we've got patio doors, both patio doors wide open. We've got fan blowing. Chris says it's too damn hot to do a baking live stream. I thought, well, um, it's a relatively quick one. So, uh, so yeah. Is this enough for you, Michelle? Will you pass me them wet wipes? Because, uh, yeah, that'll do. Where are they? So long as butter's melted. Where are they? Over there on my sofa. So I'm just giving this a oh. stir, guys. Right, I dribbled all the uh, um, golden syrup all over my mat thing. Oh. Spilt me coffee as well. <laughs> I know he's supposed to drink it, but I caught it. Uh, uh, um, right, so I'm just going to get this over here. I'll uh, point point the camera down. Maybe a nice ice cream. Oh, well, maybe says who's this fella? It. Patio door. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Good old well, I don't like to be posh and call them French doors, but hey ho. So, uh, so yeah. Right. So into this, we've got 175 grams of self-raising flour. Who is this fella? Patio, Patio doors. doors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is two teaspoons of ground ginger. That is half a teaspoon of mixed spice. So they're going to be quite a spicy uh, biscuit. And that is half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And last but not least, Half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. So I'm I'm gonna try and do this without it. Yeah, it'll be a description, Adrian. Will there be a list so I could do it now? Yeah, um if you look underneath adrian this i put all the ingredients and what to do in the description so they basically tell you a list of ingredients and also uh the uh site where i get the baking recipes my favorite was sporty spice <laughs> <laughs> so yes yeah, so i normally uh uh i'm trying to do this so it ah that's a bit better so now we've got all the flour and all the spices and everything and i'm just gonna just gonna give it a quick uh nice spice for me that's gonna be baby spice for me <laughs> <laughs> i like a good nanny me <laughs> uh jack says uh I like ginger nut biscuits. They're a bit similar, Jacks. I mean, because these have got um, ginger, cinnamon, and mixed spice. Now, we are having thing in here. I can't tell you what's in mixed spices, but I know it's the very... It's on, on a similar footing to, uh, to ginger nut sort of thing. So, so yeah, as you can see... I've uh, 
I've mixed the flour and everything in, mixed all the spices together. So, uh, right, uh, next thing is I'm just going to give this another stir because the butter sort of settled on top. So I'm just going to give this a quick stir. Right, so now we add the melted butter, the uh, uh, golden syrup and the sugar into the, um, into the flour and whatnot. And that's as simple as it is. Told you it were a quick and simple one, so I'm just going to stir this. It says you stir to form a smooth dough. Hey? <laughs> oh, you don't know what you what 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 uh, Wake is calling ginger. I was ginger when I was little. That's why I burn so easily. There you go, Wake. You beat dough. <laughs> yeah. And that's why. So that is the mixture all come together look as you can see it's come together to form a uh a sticky dough I have to video it adrian so yeah Good roll, <laughs> i'll probably just be finishing my last stream as that ad's finishing is it still going? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a look. Yeah, still another eight minutes to go on the ad. So, right. So now, uh, I'll just move that to that side so you can see. It does say... Um, teaspoons. Place each teaspoons of the mixture onto a baking sheet about three centimetres apart to allow for them to spread. But as you know, we don't like we don't do little biscuits. So basically, I'm I'm gonna put a little bit more than yeah, a, a little bit more than a teaspoon, let's just say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll them with my hand. Put them there like that so you can see what I'm doing. Well, the one that Jeanette's watching, she got a, a 29 minute ad before a video yeah. on YouTube. So yeah, when I, when, I start, when I started the live stream up, I got like a 30 minute ad. So uh, it all goes to me AdSense, which I'm getting paid for this this time around so that will uh that will go towards my new laptop or go towards it is it donald's time <laughs> <laughs> no it's rolling balls time and what was coming apart already yeah it don't it don't like to be rolled So it does. It, I think it does say that it's it should make about eighteen, but I don't think this is going to make eighteen, mm. to be, if I'm honest. Because there's not a uh, there's not a lot of ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of. But it does say to tap them down with slightly with a knife, but I'm doing it with my fingers. Hey ho, wash my hands and everything before I went live. Adrian says check on Facebook for laptops and get on there like you did. Yeah, I mean we have been we have been looking on there but 
you know, someone on the quiet price around around here. So, uh, you know, 170, 180 quid, and you can get them brand new for that. So, uh, <laughs> wish I could help, but I'm totally potless. That's okay, Wakey. Don't worry about it. Money, I don't. I don't active. I don't actively ask for donations, but uh, it was Chris's fault. I was not not to blame. Um, in hot glass water flying over me laptop. Yeah, my bad. So uh, I was looking for a show for it, and a fat bum caught the uh, table that the lap was on. So not yeah. Really so I was t I was totally blameless. Um. So yes, we have we have been looking at um, on on marketplace on Facebook, but there's some that are ridiculously expensive, and you can buy brand new ones for the price that some of them are selling them on for. So basically, uh, it's either wait till we've saved up a bit of money and still keep you know using Chris's. Um, I have got. 71 pound coming from me adsense uh, uh so uh, that will go some way towards it so but what i'll do is yes what the sheet on the tray do you grease it or not yeah uh, well what i've done adrian i melt some I, I melt the butter now i grease underneath it this is grease proof paper and so the biscuits don't stick i always give it a light greasing on top of the grease proof paper even though they're not supposed to stick but when they're cooked it makes them come off the tray quicker <laughs> wow. no, no, laurel no, no. no, 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 it weren't me <laughs> oh, oh, laura. hi laura laura why do i keep on calling you laurel I don't know. It's probably didn't... because she's going to be married to Ardy. Uh, I've been watching Emmerdale. Now, these won't go in the oven. Oh, I do. Uh... Is that good for me? So, what I do, Adrian, I put a spot of butter in a old yogurt pot or, you know, an old uh, cream pot. And I just blast it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and it melts the butter. And I find it a lot quicker doing it that way it says bake for between eight and ten minutes so uh, what i'll do i think i'll put the uh should i put it on for nine minutes go in between yeah. hang on a minute no right So, yeah, I always use the timer on my phone. I've gone sort of, it says between eight and ten minutes. So, I always go a bit in between. So, I've done it for nine minutes. That table's definitely coming down tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so um, I don't know where to get it. makes 18 unless you have right diddy biscuits. It's they didn't, they didn't be eating them. Yeah, you see, Mr. P, he don't like one mouthful wonders. No, he likes something he can get his teeth into. Um, you know, more than a mouthful, let's just say, and make make of that what you wish. In other words, I've got a big dog. No, I mean more than a mouthful. <laughs> I probably you, you 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 can't. It all it is if you've got a baking tray, you only need grease proof paper. I grease the tray, put the grease proof paper on it, and then I slightly give it another another uh, um thing of uh, on the tray so they don't stick when they come out of oven. Hi, Steve. I don't stay long. Oh, he says, uh, can't stay long. We had very bad storms here yesterday and I, and it ripped out power. Oh, oh dear. dear. 
Oh, oh, dear. That's not very good. But you see, we kept expecting thunderstorms and they never materialized. We're supposed to have them today. Shh. Shh. <laughs> He's telling me to shut. <laughs> Oh, but uh, as you can see, Adrian, they're very easy to make. If you've got all the ingredients, which I already had anyway. <coughs> and uh, just to let you know, uh, just to let you know, Steve, I'm making truffles next week. Oh, Steve. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I'm interrupting. Steve Essex, did you make uh, Sean Matthews' intro? Because if you did, could I have that one, please? Because it very much looks like your work. And that is absolutely amazing. Come, come in, Callum. You know what? Oh. Just oh, push door. Push it. No, push it, I said, not pull it. Oh, we what he needs is pajamas. Oh, is he? That's why. <laughs> is it does look easy. Fair play. Can't wait to do it. We well, see. This is the old point of the why I do this, Adrian, because uh, people that say that they can't bake. You want to leave, I like to say, well, yes, He's you can. Bad. Um, Kate says I think we do storms here soon. But, <laughs> <laughs> no storms allowed but it did say we were going to have thunderstorms this afternoon and nothing materialized so i thought it were at one point not that hot that? adrian says he's thought scared of thunder and lightning i might just get two more out of this They might be very small ones, but hey ho. I'm interrupting. Callum. No, you're not interrupting at all. Callum. Yeah, Callum. Steve Essex must have done that. So that's what Jack says anyway. Ah, oh, there you go. Then. Oh, Callum. Cracking, cracking the intro of that one. So, yeah, I've managed to get 16. Two eights of 16, in it. So, 14 for me and one each for your gallon. Oh, gear. Gear? Huh? Some parts of Wales had it bad and flooding. It's been hot and dry here. It's been very dry, hot and it humid here. Well, I'm hoping, but I'm not, because it means we'll be running out of water. <laughs> uh, the the Derwent Dam um, dries up a bit, so we can see the old ruins. Oh. I can fly the drone over it then. So yes, uh, Adrian, that's that's how simple it is to make these. I mean, you start off small, like things like these, and before long you'll be baking cakes and cookies and... Also yeah and that's the whole reason why i started doing the baking channel or the baking vlogs is because one i've never been to college i'm just essentially self-taught through experience and you know clark's baking stream yeah. <laughs> So long as it don't clash with mine, <laughs> you can do what you like. Hey, it, advert's finished. <laughs> I've missed a shitload of uh, uh, comments. Yeah, no, I am. I thought I'd, I'd missed a load of. Sent you a leak on Messenger, Jeanette. Maybe this will do. Ooh. Ooh. That's if I don't melt beforehand, Wakey. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't sent to one of your four sides by mistake? 
Ooh. Ooh. It's a link to eBay. Eh? Hey? Oh, yeah. What is it? Ooh. 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 You like it, yeah. Whatever I'm just I'm just gonna send oh send link send him message I'm just gonna send link to Chris. Well, I'd have to come out to the stream to look at it. And then send it to Callum then. Right? It's it's on eBay actually. Well, I'm still gonna have to come out to chat. Thank you very much, uh, Wakey. I'll have a quick look and I'll jump back in again. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> So, see, I might have one of them. See, even Chris went, oh. High five. Hey, high five. five and yeah. See, he's got to copy off me, hasn't he? Well done, Wakey. <laughs> Good lad. So, yes, thank you very much, Wakey. I think Callum might want one of them at all. <laughs> Gordon Bennett sends me a link and everybody's jumping up bandwagon. <laughs> to save that one. I hope they got a load of stock. <laughs> <laughs> Them biscuits not belong, baby. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, so is everybody looking forward to me making truffle next? I was going to make some cinnamon muffins. But then I saw uh, truffles and I thought, it's some I've not made before. They look delicious and it'd be something different. I mean, you don't have to bake them, obviously. Um, so, uh, as usual, I'll put the link in the description if anybody wants, you know, me to send... Uh... <laughs> Adrian's put, I've got to say, that looks easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There you go. It looks lemon drizzly, drizzly lemon. You see, that's another thing. I will, my speciality is lemon drizzle. Is, are you taking that one in with you? Can't see me yet. <laughs> uh, my speciality is lemon drizzle. And I'm going to make a lemon drizzle this I afternoon. I'm going to that minute. Because I've got tons of lemons in the fridge. Uh, my it, it, even Wake is jumping on it. It says I might get one myself. Hey, only a three. <laughs> us three's got one. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, um. So yeah. All I do, Adrian, is I put the timer on on my phone because on our phone it's got like clock, timer, stopwatch, blah blah blah, and that's all I do. I have got an egg like a, a egg shaped timer, but it's near it. Near, yeah so yeah so um you know i were considering getting an electric timer but i thought same as i said to chris yeah same as i said to chris well why go to all expense because they're about 15 quid these electric timers when i can just use my phone and it's just as good there you go they took nine minutes uh adrian um it's all minutes to eat <laughs> i'll just put the camera down and i'll show you let me just go on stream yard so i can uh Bloody camera. Callum, there's a tea towel over there. Can you just pass it me? Well, that's it, Adrian. Either it's so long as you say, you see, it says between eight and ten minutes. It says between eight and ten minutes. So I always go somewhere in between. Yeah, it's there, look. Over there. Um, you want to out of what? No, that, yeah. No, 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 no. 
so the trick is with these normally you let them cool a little bit but i just wanted to show you uh my lady says yummy i bet it smells like christmas so they 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 the finish <laughs> he says i've tried to grab one <laughs> so that's how easy they are atrium so normally i'd, I'd uh, you see i've got a like a spatula look and i'm taking them off the tray putting them on the cooling rack plus with fan going as well they are a bit like crumbly but that's the old reason why they're called cornish fairings because that's oops that one nearly got stuck in grill <laughs> so yeah um i'm gonna try and move that along so you can film better and it's absolute garbage this camera for, so you can see them look <laughs> that's how easy they are Which yes they are biscuits that well don't turn it off we'll turn it around then put it on push that thing on on top and it'll oscillate round oh. yeah there you go so uh i'll have that one <laughs> <laughs> so yes in essence they are biscuits are they biscuits i oh, i'll have that one super quick mike well this is it uh laura I like to, you see, on 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 me evening like baking live streams, I I don't like to, I, you know, as my normal live streams, I go on uh, two hours, but on a baking live stream, I don't like to go on more than an hour. I don't. They look nice, but but you see, what we do, Adrian, is we've got like like essentially Tupperware tubs. And what I'll do is once they've cooled down sufficiently, I put them in a Tupperware tub. According to the weather, it's going to be thunderstorms tomorrow evening. But it says on our weather forecast, Amjad. Oh, yeah. yeah, on our weather forecast, we were expecting uh, thunderstorms this afternoon at about three o'clock, but they never materialised. So whether or not it'll come while we're in bed, but yeah. So yeah they they the uh night once they've once they've cooled down they'll be uh nice and crunchy <laughs> so so yeah i just wanted to do something I, you see i had scheduled this for last week and i thought well i've got thumbnail and everything done uh I'll just do do them this week so but i were in two minds whether or not to um uh no to do the muffins or and then when i seen this recipe for truffles i thought right i'm gonna do something different i'm gonna do some truffles instead in, in effect the confectionery you know they're not baking or anything but it's something out of the ordinary something that i've not done before and thank you for the tip my lady about the flake that they'll be lovely yeah i'll tell you what they taste <laughs> like <Adrian. laughs> they like truffles but it says in the recipe to roll them in uh, chocolate sprinkles but the lady says when she does them she gets flakes and crumbles flake up and rolls them in flake instead so yeah thank you for the tip lady you're a nice fine flake i'll eat the flake so uh, adrian says he loves truffles well after next week adrian you'll be able to make them yeah it looks like, <laughs> looks like me and adrian's gonna have lots of scraps for these flakes <laughs> So yeah, I mean they look relatively simple to do. It's just like I've done with these roll it in balls, and then you you know roll them in in either 
chocolate sprinkles or as my lady says uh uh crushed up flakes but i think the crushed up flakes is a better idea than the chocolate sprinkles because some chocolate sprinkles tend to be a bit hard on the old teeth oh pardon me hard on the old teeth so uh, I, I i can't remember that's why i was looking for recipe I couldn't remember whether they were chocolate, but I, I, I do know that you're supposed to roll them in chocolate sprinkles. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, oh, Laura says she likes, because you see in the recipe, Laura, it does say either roll them in coconut, desiccated coconut, or chocolate sprinkles. I'm just wanky. I'd like to be rolled in a flake. <laughs> but my lady sort of made a suggestion earlier on, and she says when she does them, she rolls them in like broken up flakes. So I says, oh, that were a good idea. So I mean, basically, I'll put I'll put the obviously the recipe in the description. It's up to you know each individual what the you know what they roll them in now i like the idea of rolling them in crushed up broken up flake so but you know if you prefer coconut you roll them in coconut if you prefer chocolate sprinkles you roll them in chocolate sprinkles it's as simple as that it's each you know <coughs> it's up to the individual um oh. You know, it's it's up to the individual what they want to roll them in, basically. So, but it does on the recipe that I found, it does say um, either coconut or chocolate sprinkles or rolling nuts. Yeah, you know, I mean, this this is it. This is why baking, cooking is so versatile. You can roll them in whatever you want. So, you know. Um, you know if you just make the basic truffle recipe then basically you can roll them in anything yeah and likes the sound of the flake mm. but some of the same lady travels said like she broke broke them up in um broke a flake up and rolled them in a flake and i thought well that sound they, they sound lovely they do i know Stop telling me off. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I do eventually. eventually. I want to learn how to make trifle. Well, there again, Adrian, it's it's easy. I mean, you can either use uh, sponge fingers, sp trifle sponges, or you can even like chop up a Swiss roll. And and all trifles are, you know, I mean, now Chris don't don't prefers trifles without fruit so when you're making your jelly it's just a case of um so yours <laughs> mine it's pointed to littlest by the way uh-huh Well, what I'm going to do with these is they're a bit hot. So I'm going to put them over there for a minute and let them cool down slightly. So, uh, I'm going to sit down there. Oh. so yeah, I'm just going to let them cool down slightly. Uh, I sent him a link for a bird's trifle, but that's cheating, Wakey. I mean, like a, a proper made trifle, you can either use sponge, sponge, sponge fingers, trifle sponges, or a uh, vanilla uh, Swiss roll cut up. Now, Chris don't like uh, fruit in his trifle, so I'd, what I'd do is just make a jelly up, arrange these uh swiss roller or whatever in bottom of a dish add the uh add the uh, uh yeah you tell me and i'll tell you add the jelly and then you just make custard 
get ready made custard and then i use either dream topping instant uh what's that other one called angel delight or anything my lady says she uses swiss roll <laughs> but you see this is it this is what well, this is the beauty of making a trifle laura chris don't like fruit in his so i omit the fruit so i just make it a swiss roll base i mix a packet of jelly extra jelly for me yeah <laughs> so so basically you know obviously you put that in the fridge to set and then make the custard you stir it and let it cool down put that on top put it back in the fridge to uh to set now a lot of people you was sponge <laughs> sponge yeah sponge because that's a sponge so yeah um it's basically we're a trifle it's a blank canvas let's just say you know people like fruit salad in the trifle people like strawberries in the trifle people like you know yeah, uh, are right to the so so yeah you know it's but you know obviously after each layer you've got to put it back in the fridge and let it set a lot of people use actually use like um double cream or proper cream i like to use angel delight so uh so basically um yeah and then then sort of because i i've got a lot of uh um yeah like i've got choco beans i've got chocolate curls i've got lemon and orange slices i've got gold balls i've got silver balls you know i you know you can use anything really but a, a you know a crumbled up flake or <laughs> spinch I'll never eat last to that, will I? Because I, I said spinge. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> That's wakey for you. Yeah. Mocking the afflicted. <laughs> <laughs> as as wakey does. So yeah, that's the one that Chris wants me to have, the little diddy one. I've got it at the top. Yeah, he's having all big ones, he says, and he's letting me call them up little ones. <laughs> so, uh, so there we have it. <laughs> me and Amjad want one, please. Thank you uh no well there's one this this there's one with this one thing you know you'll have to make them yourself uh uh, uh adrian you've seen how easy simple it is <coughs> let me just let me just pass on these weird words of wisdom make sure you weigh all your ingredients out correctly and to the tea make sure your oven's on the right yeah the right setting and you should you can't go wrong <laughs> i think it should be a good logo on an apron <laughs> hiya tracy. Hi, tracy these are called cornish fairings tracy they're basically a simple cook well not a cookie a biscuit uh, they've got uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, and mixed spice in them, so they're very uh, ginger nut, ginger nutterish. <laughs> there you go. That's another word for you. Uh, uh, how much is postage? <laughs> <laughs> but what, if and when we come down to Western Super Mail, Laura, I'll make you something. I'll make you some of these. I've, I've done ginger nuts. I've done you know uh 
all sorts but as you've seen they're very simple to make so uh i forgot what i'm going to say i was going to say something and it's gone right off top of my head so yeah uh wakey says he thinks it'd be a great logo on an apron oh right that were a thing it's all right i'm getting serious now because i'm leaning forward <laughs> so i've sort of come up with an idea That's yeah it is dangerous now those that have followed me for quite a while know that i I mentioned last year about making a, a Christmas cake. So, because we need funds for a new laptop, and I run it by Kate this afternoon, and she said she thought it were a good idea. What I'm, what I might do is, I might start running a raffle, similar to what Aze is doing. You know, you, you, you know. You've got to be subscribed to my channel. Uh, five pound per entry, uh, and you, you know, you entered into a raffle. But the thing you'll get at the end of it is a fully uh, decorated Christmas cake. <laughs> I know someone who is a ginger nut. <laughs> so yeah, so um, that is the idea um you know uh obviously i shall do the draw while you know on one of my live streams while everybody's there to um to see that it's done fairly and correctly but obviously i've got to cover the costs of the uh, pardon me of the ingredients i've got to cover electric and obviously I've got to cover costs of sending it out to someone. So hence the reason why I'm saying is um, I'm going to do like a raffle, whereas, you know, um, you put £5 in the link to Chris's PayPal um, and basically you'll get entered into a raffle to win this fully decorated Christmas cake. What we're making i've already made them brenda they are cornish fairings in other words biscuit so uh so yeah they 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 um uh, brenda so yeah so when i uh mike says he thinks it's a smashing idea no so yeah so basically um you can never start preparing a christmas cake too early so what i said last time was but i, I left it way too late um i will say that uh it's only open to the people in the uk but last time i mentioned it I mean, like Brenda's from, uh, <coughs> I can collect in 20 minutes. Well, you see, I said, when I, when I mentioned it last year, Wake It, I says, we don't mind traveling to, to give it to the person personally within reason. You know what I mean? What laptop you're looking to get, or is it just, uh, I, I, I just want one that's, workable you know what i mean the one that i've got were just a little small thing it did what i wanted it to um so yeah so i mean they were like carla she says she'd donate it but she says like if she if her name came out that she's got like friends in ireland or she's got friends in the uk she would donate it to somebody that actually lived in the uk Christmas YouTube meetup, you can deliver cake then. <laughs> but yeah, it, that that's that's the sort of the short and tall of it is. I'm prepared to put the effort and everything in to make a Christmas cake. I sit and everything. 
you know, decorate it. But obviously, I've got to get enough donations in to cover the costs and what it's gonna, you know, all the ingredients and everything. Hey, I'm baking too. Guess what? 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 You you baking? Baking? <laughs> baking hot? <laughs> yeah, baking hot like me. So yeah, so that's the you know the the you know obviously the uh, my myself suppose. Uh, beetroot <laughs> but but this is the thing you know it's as 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 brenda knows because maniac grammy is another a baking channel um we've done a couple of collabs so me and brenda know each other quite well um you have to let you know if you know you're putting sherry or whatever in it brandy or whatever in it you have to let it put it to one side and let it soak for a little bit so i said well we're coming up to september nearly so <laughs> well chris has only put put his top on johnny because i will go in live um so yeah so basically um you know uh if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna have to start sort of getting ingredients and everything uh, stop making my ingredients <laughs> you know i'm gonna have to start um <laughs> johnny says flash those nips see it <laughs> so yeah so you know it's it's a case of um you know time is of the essence i've got to uh, are you all right mate have you got your thing? Have you had one? I feel a bit dodgy again. So, uh, so yeah. So it's it, you know, if everybody thinks it's a good idea, I should put like links up in every live stream to Chris's PayPal. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. Is um, you know, if you want entering into the uh, raffle for a Christmas cake, please make a. Uh, you know just put christmas cake you know when you send a donation of her um uh you know put the head in christmas cake when you send a donation oh. over to the paypal um and we'll know you know where it's come from and who's done it and obviously it's it's towards the christmas cake raffle um but yeah i mean like let's say uh you know if it's within an hour we'll deliver it personally if it's longer than an hour i'll yeah, probably do it. Eh? the hl, do it. <laughs> the HL. Oh, the UPL. uh so yeah so you know that's the plan uh but you know as so long as it's packed correctly and it's well protected i shall double box it and everything so if i do have to send it out via post i will make sure that you know wherever possible that it don't get damaged and same as i said within reason i'm willing to deliver it personally within you know a certain distance so uh so yeah that's that that's the plan anyway so I just wanted to run it by everybody just to see uh, what they thought to it. Do they think it's a good idea? You know, will people go for it? And bloody expensive making Christmas cake. We see this is what I'm saying, Wakey. That's why I've put at least a five. I need a, at least a five a donation because I've got to buy the ingredients. I've got to buy the marzipan. I've got to buy the icing and everything. Um, and, and and then I've got, if I've got to package it up and send it off in post, then it gets even more expensive. Hiya, Peter, how are you? So, yeah, I mean, that's why I said, basically, if it's within like a maximum of two hours, we're going to say, uh 
It says don't send it by herpes. I think it means Hermes. <laughs> but you, you know what I mean? Within reason, we're, we, we, you know, we're willing to travel, let's say, two hours. But that's his limit. Any further than two hours and it's going to have to go through post. So, uh, you can hear kids playing that. <laughs> so, yeah, so that, that's the idea. And that's hence the reason why I said at least a £5 donation to be entered into the raffle because I've got to cover my costs for the ingredients and everything. But at end of day, the lucky winner will get a Christmas cake for a fiver. And I'm not talking just a little Christmas cake. I'm talking, you know, a pretty big one. So the winner of the raffle has got a good deal out of it winning a, a, a Christmas cake. Nice, did I win? I haven't done it yet, Peter. Um, I'm thinking of sort of doing it in the next, you know, starting like donations and blah, 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 because I need a new laptop. And I says probably the only, the, 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 the most fairest and easiest way to do it is run a raffle. But um, it's going to be for a Christmas cake made by me. No, you don't want cheese. <laughs> so, yeah, so that, that, that's the, the brunt of the idea is... You know, um, uh, you know, if I get enough people, you know, I should be able to. Um, it's all right, my horse has gone numb. <laughs> the, the basic idea is I get enough donations to cover the cost of the ingredients plus some towards a new laptop. So, uh, so yeah, so that's sort of the idea behind it um you know as, as as everybody says uh uh it, it is expensive making a christmas cake but the winner will get an absolute bargain because it's going to have marzipan it's going to have icing it's going to be all the, the old kit and caboodle And the good good thing about it is you ain't got to make a Christmas cake if you win it. So there you go. So but we'll we'll discuss it at another later date. Um uh, you know, a bit further down the line. I've got to sort of make a decision. Yes, I'm definitely doing it, uh because you know, obviously everybody knows that. Uh, if you're soaking it in brandy or if you're soaking it in sherry, you've got to sort of let it stand for quite a significant amount of time. So, uh, and that is the joys of uh, of a Christmas cake. You know, it's going to be rich in either brandy or sherry or, you know... Uh, Chris says brandy, I'm having the leftovers. <laughs> How do you know there's going to be any left? I'm not sure that I'll buy an extra large bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I mean, you, you've seen me bait, you've seen me cook, you know, it's within my realms and you know, I've never actually made a Christmas cake, but I've made the farmhouse fruit cake. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I can uh, see as a rule, I never buy a Christmas cake because none of us eat it. <coughs> Adrian says he wants brandy. So, yeah, so I never actually buy a Christmas cake because none of us eat it. Uh, and And basically, I think, well, why go to all that trouble if it's going to go to waste? You said, what I do you mean? Like, I like it. You like Christmas pudding? 
can you make a six pound pork pie and egg <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, pork pies are easy enough to make. Just need sausage, meat, and uh, uh, whatnot. Right, guys, it's 10 past 10. I'm going to shut it down. Um, I've been going over just an hour. Uh, so, has anybody got any questions that they want to ask me before I go? You know, uh, you know, uh, about my baking stream tonight, about a uh, good, good, good night time to start supper. Okay, then, Brenda, I'm going to shut it down now anyway. Uh, uh, so I'll see you all tomorrow evening on the normal live stream. So I want to thank everybody for coming in. I want to thank you for all your kind comments. Don't forget the links in the description if you want to donate. Uh, to it is Chris's PayPal, by the way, but all his money goes to me anyway. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow evening. So goodbye for now. Bye. Bye.